We're going to do a little tutorial today on the Much Too Young by Garth Brooks. If anybody likes country music, this is a fairly easy song, except for the solo. The solo does go into a little bit of second position work, but it's not too tough. It's something you can work on and make it sound really good in a short amount of time. And uh, this one, I believe, is in the key of, uh, I think it's in G. Yes, so we're going to use an F sharp, but we're going to use a C natural. So when we start the song, we start on the D string, and then it goes. Okay, did you notice I go zero, one on the D, a high two on the D, three, open A, one, low two. This two will be right back next to your one, and then you slide the three right next to the two, slide it up. And if you do it all on one bow, so try it with me. Okay, and then after that, the next note is the same thing. So you go. Okay. All right, next, I usually use the fourth finger. You can go, but it sounds too shrill. So you need to use the fourth finger on this, the note after the three. You'll do two, three. So you go two, three, then four, three, open, two, one. Try it with me. So it's a quick four, three, open, two, one. Remember the low two though. You gotta do the high two on the way up on the D, but then do the low two on the A. All right, the next part, that boy, doesn't that sound beautiful? The next part's really easy. It's zero, one, two, one, Yeah, actually there's no three. So it's a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, open, one on the D. So you go on the A string, zero, one, low, two, one, two, one, two, one, open, one on the D. Okay. Try it with me. Zero, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, open, one on the D. Okay, now let's try from the beginning. Oh, isn't that beautiful? All right, let's move on. Now, he does a little fancy work right there. He goes, now you don't have to do that, but boy, it makes, your notes are gonna be open, two, open, A, three. But if you can start on the one and do a quick two, one, zero. See how I did that? I go one, and then I hit the one first. And then I could do a quick delong, just release, start, hit the two, and then release it. And then, so your notes are going to be open D, two, open A, three on the A. Then your next notes are going to be one. So it'd be one, three, two, four. So here's what we got so far. Then 
and hit that three. And then we start to go up to the one on the E. And you're gonna go one, zero, three. So we one, zero, three, two, one, open, three, one, open. So. in the beginning that you gotta and then he sings a little bit and then you go so you got one on the D right after he sings just a little bit you'll go one open a one two and I do a quick the same thing Okay, try it with me. So it'd be one, two, one, open. Now this part, he does a quick. That's a little bit tricky right there. Let's look at it. I like to do, I think, the three. And you just basically run all the fingers down. Oh, my dang phone. Oh, yeah. Let's try it again. So you're running down to the D, three, two, one, and then you run up to the D on the A. So you run down, back up, then run up to the G. The G which would be the low two on the E. One, open. Actually, there's no open. Two, one, three on the A. Open A, low two, one. So here's the whole run. A little tricky. Remember, three all the way down. You go three all the way down, real fast, Dylan, Dylan, and then run it back up. And then, and then run a quick one, two, zero, one, two. And then, so two, one, three, open, two, one. So, try it with me. Two, one, Three open two one on the A, two one on the E, three open two one, and now try to run it up to the two. Yeah, if you put it all together, oh, there's one more. There's one more in the first verse, and it'll go uh, three. So it'll go three, open, one, two, one, open, three, two, one. Just remember your twos are always going to be high on the D. They're always going to be low on the A and the E. So here we go.
and it does the same thing again right after that run there's another run it goes you go and then it goes just like the run we did a while ago three open three two one open three one open and starting on the e one open three on the a two one open d three one open so here we go all the fiddle until the solo and then uh, the steel guitar is going to play their solo and then you're going to do yours all right let's give that a look at the, the solo is actually syncopated, so it, it goes. Okay, let's look at it. Yeah, zero, open it, open D. One, three, one, three. And you roll up. And then roll it up. Okay. When you hit the two, roll two, three, and four. Just like that. Now the next part, after you hit the four, that's when you're gonna shift into second position. And you're gonna roll Okay, let me see if I can explain this easier. Now, right, see right here, I go. And then I move up just a little bit. I go up to a four. Four, three, two. Three. And then I go to the three on the A. So I go. And then I come back down and I use a three bar on the E and the A and a one bar on the E and the A. And then a two bar to an open bar. And then. And then there's a run down. So you got. slide to the one. I do a start on a low one and then work my way up to a regular one. So your solo should sound like this. Now 
I put a lot of vibrato right there. Ooh. <laughs> so let, uh, let's look at that solo one more time. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous tune. Um, really, I think that's about all of it. I think after the solo, there may be some other stuff. That's the main portion of it. Sometimes the, your band will let you go a little bit longer or do whatever, and you can improvise. But if you want to play it just like the CD, uh, that's it. So uh, thanks for stopping in and taking a look. I hope that helps somebody out there to learn to play this song better. Thank you.